money gone, fuck friends. I need a homie that know me when all these motherfuckers got to be on me. I got problems. Ain't nobody calling back. Now what the fuck is happening with my phone? I got this, I got this, I got this. Oh my god. Come on, Bitcoin farm. Help me out here in a time of need. Okay, desperate times. Call for desperate measures. Level 4 armor and a shattered mask. What the fucking done? That's it. And I'm doing this bullshit. Oh, what is this? No, no. What have I become? Uh. But and now I'm standing still and I'm dead. Holy shit. Fuck, oh, no. Fucking rat. Hey guys, I played 20 games of labs within one day, never having played it before, and that's what happened. It was honestly a mixed bag of experiences, but overall I really enjoyed it. I highly suggest you watch the rest of the video and try it yourself. I should say firstly that I did it for lots of reasons. One, being that I wanted to push myself, because there was a reason I'd never played labs before, I was scared shitless. My PvP is decent, but when I watched Landmark or Warren on labs, I just couldn't imagine surviving without a heart attack. And don't get me wrong, there were a few of them. Fuck me. Oh my god. But surprisingly, in those raids, the pros always outweighed the cons. In the end, I can confidently say that I definitely did grow as a player. I want this video to be a report back on my experience, as a way of reference for people like me who doubt their abilities and get put off laps because of its stigma. I'm not going to bother showing you all 20 games, but I'll take you on a smaller version of the journey I went on showing you what I learned along the way as to give you more advice when you try labs too. So in order to paint a proper picture, I want to express my mindset prior to playing those games. I had three big worries. For one, being resistant to the PvP against players who I thought would be much better than me, which clearly wasn't the case. Secondly, bumping into the cheaters that Labs was so notorious for. Yeah, he is. He is. Yeah, he is. Which I didn't. At all. I know it can be hard to tell sometimes, but I can say with certainty that there were no blatant cheaters for all 20 games. Lastly, I was worried that I was going to drain money like crazy and go broke. Especially since I already was low on money after buying 20 access key cards and all the coloured ones too. But I didn't. Although I lost gear, I technically made money and also gained skill and experience from it, which was well worth the trade-off. So if Labs wasn't really infested with cheaters, and I wasn't as bad as I thought, and I didn't go broke, then there was really nothing to be scared of. But nevertheless, that's how I felt, and I went into my first game feeling scared and worried. It's at this point that I should probably note that I'd been playing labs offline recently to warm up, using that time also to learn the map. This gave me more confidence in my games. In short, 
The first game went okay. I covered a lot of ground and saw no one and heard nothing. Thinking it was a dead lobby, I audaciously ran through the middle of the map in the open. For way too long, I should know. I wasn't that discouraged by my death, I knew that it was way too ballsy, and in fact, it was just kind of dumb. So I made a mental note and went straight into the next game. Around 5 minutes into this raid, I started hearing gunshots and ran towards it in an effort to third party. However, when I got there it was just a single team of two. I braced and told myself to push them before they pushed me. A bad repeat got me lit up, but I was lucky enough to heal up in safety. Assuming that the enemy hadn't left that long corridor yet, I peeked, making sure not to overextend. It worked effectively alongside my good crosshair placement. Soon after, his body pushed me too. This game actually turned out to be a success. I killed two PMCs and managed to extract via the elevator in the basement, using the map knowledge I retained from my warm-ups. After leaving the high of my second raid, I was more hopeful about the third. However, this was very short lived as the next raid I quickly came into contact with the two men. They were obviously knowledgeable about the map and I ended up dying to a VOG 17 after they threw a volley of them. I took two things from that raid. Don't stand still, especially if you're being hunted, because they heard me running and stop on wood, making it easy to pinpoint where to near. And also, when to be aggressive and take the fight. When I died, I had no choice but to stay there, as I was pinned. But if I pushed up, I could have caught them off guard. Raid 4 was particularly painful for me, as I had played it perfectly thus far. I realised someone was around the corner, and I decided to throw a nade. It landed in the perfect spot, however, I became too eager, and as an effect, overextended and died to his nade. Raid 5 would be my best one so far. I managed to get a well played kill on a PMC with good movement and aim. I then proceeded to loot every key card room on the map, undisturbed by PMCs. This netted me a lot of rubles. Woo! Second raid! Second extract. <laughs> Decent man, decent. I wouldn't be so lucky in raid 6. During a firefight I realised I wasn't on painkillers so I decided to PK up. Unfortunately, I was close enough to the enemy for them to push me before I could cancel my animation. A rookie mistake on my part. In fact, one that I would strenuously avoid for the rest of the session. Raid 7 started well, with a good kill on a PMC during a stressful encounter, but then I died while looting a raider to a rat who crouched walk his entire journey to me. At that point, it was too late. However, I should have been looting the raider while lying prone to become a smaller target, or possibly not be noticed. Raid 8 was short lived. A jump scare put me out of action. I should have been more prepared. It's possible that I was getting too comfortable. Raid 9 and 10 were both the same. I was unprepared when peeking a corner. I think I didn't expect the enemy to really be there even though I knew they would be. I started to see a theme of incompetence. Was it because I was ill? Or maybe because I was already too tired? Raid 11? Outgunned, plain and simple. During raid 12 I decided to cut my losses and extract with the loot, after not seeing anyone. Knowing I had profit from this raid, albeit slightly, I needed the win. This raid was interesting. I looted all the key card rooms and I had over 4 million rubles worth of loot on me and hit the power to the elevator so I could leave. As I did that, I heard someone running towards me. Because they caught me off guard, my decision making and aim were off, and he got me. Oh, what I took no. from this was that I needed to keep composure even when startled. This can be helped in time through just playing the game, but also by telling yourself to play more confidently so as to override that instinct. Raid 14 was a diamond in the rough. I entered Red Room to find 
three bitcoins grew to me on the shelf. I then proceeded to get two kills and extract, a massive ego boost for me. By this point, I noticed that a lot of the mistakes I'd been making were because of nervousness or a slip of concentration. Both easily fixed. Raid 15 really made me salty. I'd gotten into the flow of things, I looted black and heard someone approaching so I ran out and pre-fired them, successfully killing them. I went on to looting multiple rooms until I was rimming with loot. After turning the power on to the elevator I heard what I thought was a raider comp and I approached the doorway to kill him when I was shot in the back by a bear. Once again I'd let my guard down, always peek both sides of the door before walking out. Raid 16 was strange. I got what I thought was a great kill, putting a good start onto the raid, but shortly after was killed by what I can only assume was desync or a client bug. Are you kidding me? Raid 17. I was still looting rooms efficiently, however, it was getting late and I just couldn't hit my shots anymore. It's important to know when to stop playing. The start of the raid was crazy, I killed someone 5 seconds in and after that the firefights went on for a bit. I didn't get to kill anyone else because after the initial firefights people were dead or did run off. After that I moved on to farming raiders and I extracted successfully. With Raid 19, it was as simple as bad positioning and a lack of aggression. However, it did look a little bit sus, but we'll let it slide because it could have been Pika's advantage. Finally, Raid 20. The raid to end all raids. I thought, surely Tarkov would set me up for a good raid. Oh boy, I couldn't have been any more wrong. I killed a juicy PMC farmed raiders and hit red room. The money I was going to make would have even put me into profit from this whole thing. There was one more raider left. When I heard the legends of hackers on labs, I pictured a sweaty old man or even a 13 year old G-fueled boy, but certainly not an angry Russian raider with wall hacks and aimbot. He one tapped me and solidified my fate ending the lab's excursion. <laughs> oh, fuck me. Duh.